In Moose Mayhem, Carrie Grant and Tori found this massive male called Buzzwinkle roaming the streets of Anchorage. But their first close encounter was this female out in the suburbs. Their expert guide and moose finder is Rick Sinnott from Alaska Fish and Game. So what's a moose doing in the middle of an urban area where there's houses? Uh, well, they live here, not in the houses usually, but um, this is their wintering area and it was before we came. Um, and they still come here to find food. If she starts chasing us, what should we do? Um, the best thing is to run because they won't follow you very far, usually. Um, but if she catches up to you and knocks you down, then better to play dead because they're very defensive and they, they really don't want to hurt you. They just want to neutralize you, get you out of the way. And if you play dead, then they'll usually walk off. But they're pretty aggressive, huh? Uh, no, not normally. No? But um, they don't like, they have a personal space like humans do. And if you get within it, then they have to decide whether they're going to run or bite you. And, um, Sometimes they'll get kind of cantankerous. And just like us, they're much more surly when they're drunk. This cow is getting crapulous on crab apples. So what happens when they get tipsy? A lot of times they get the thousand yard stare. It's just the glassy stare on all four legs, just kind of looking <laughs> like this. They're kind of like humans. Exactly. You can tell their moods a lot by their ears. And if they start wagging their ears kind of funny, especially if they put them way back like a dog that's angry, that usually means that they're thinking about attacking and they're very agitated. I've never been this close to a moose. They're giant. They're a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. I thought we were going to be walking through a forest somewhere. We're just walking around suburbia in Anchorage and there's a moose right there chomping on an ornamental tree outside of somebody's house. I think it's just incredible that you could look out your window and see a giant, beautiful creature like that just hanging out. But Tori and Grant can't leave well enough alone, despite Rick's warning. We're hunting moose. <laughs> All I have to do is be able to outrun you, and I'm okay. If you're lucky she's a little tipsy. She probably has double vision. She thinks there's four of you, so she you're more intimidating, yeah. She is looking a little drunk. Wait, oh, her ears are back. They're up, they're up. <laughs> you see her ears pinned back, she's ready to attack. She get drunk on those crab apples. She's looking crazy. I'm gonna have some crab apples with her later. 